gallstones is usually caused by lack of choline in the diet so i.e you know lack of saturated fats and choline um we need this to to produce the bile which allows us to to to, to alleviate and 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 uh, and and basically release all of these 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 things within the body so th this can this will build up if we are not consuming enough saturated fats and uh, enough choline within the diet so now that we're doing that that could be irritating um the gallbladder because it's it's basically trying to upregulate a system that hasn't been upregulated enough for a while um it will come so just stick with it but as Stephen says the best course of action is to make incremental changes so reduce the amount you don't need fat is fantastic and i don't want to put you off fat but we don't need to overload the fat so you think about when you're consuming food um maybe reduce any fats that you're using for cooking so if you cook in butter or tallow or lard or ghee maybe you reduce or remove that fat uh, and maybe just uh, cook the animal proteins in um in in the fats that that come within that protein um you can opt for leaner cuts if you're if you're consuming minced beef for example you know 30 percent 25 percent 20 maybe gravitate to leaner cuts um you can reduce the amount of eggs that you're consuming for example that can also eggs are super important by the way for, for choline but we can get these from from other compounds um if you're eating lamb then gravitate towards leaner cuts it doesn't mean that you can't consume the fatty cuts but just don't consume them all the time so actively try to reduce the amount of, of fat that you're consuming per meal uh, and as Stephen says more meals so smaller amounts spread out throughout the day 